Hey guys, Terry Beefcake Reeves. I know it's a late Thursday night, just kind of excited right now. We're out here in the uh, garage doing our first flash for a 21 and up F-150. Our shop truck is actually 2022. We'll show you what's going on here. So if you look, you can see we're saving the stock data file right now. This is a little different than your traditional flash where your cable, uh, your OBD2 cable would be uh, plugged into the truck. It's actually plugged into the SCT box. The box is plugged into the far left. If you're inside the vehicle, you will call it the right, but looking at it, the far left plug, uh, you actually have to get power from the battery terminals. You'll know you have power that plugs in the side of the box because your X4 will actually fire up. The flashing process should be pretty quick after you save the stock file. We're pretty excited about this. I know everybody's been waiting. Um, this is one of Juggernaut's first flashes on a 5.0. They've already done a Raptor and a 3.5. Luckily, I happen to own a 5.0, so we're going to verify the flash before we get it out to customers. But just wanted to show you, pretty exciting. Still saving that stock file. One other thing I did want to point out to you guys, you will still read codes, you will still clear codes, all that through the uh, X4, through the OBD2 port. Um, I've already tried clearing codes and reading codes and stuff like that. That all works just like it should. You'll also be able to data log up front, same as everything. This process, essentially what you're doing is bench flashing the computer. Um, you're taking the car out of the equation, you're going directly to the computer, that way we can get it unlocked. And again, when you do this, you are going to unplug all three plugs. So you're gonna unplug all three plugs and then you're gonna use the far left and this is exactly how it's gonna look when you flash it. And again, first thing you wanna do, connect the plug, disconnect the three plugs, reconnect the SCT plug, plug that into the box, plug the box, or actually uh, plug the connectors in to get power, and then the X4 into the box, the X4 should fire up. And then you flash it just like you normally would. Uh, just go through all the uh, steps. Again, we're still uh, saving the stock file. We finished flashing, everything's done flashing. Uh, we've disconnected everything, reversed it the way we started, plugged all the plugs back in, and let's see what happens. And just like she's designed to do, she fires right up. Pretty exciting. Looks like our flash is good. Looks like everything's nice. Pretty, uh, pretty excited. So now it's uh, time to go out, do some data logging on the truck, and uh, see how everything looks. All right, guys, we're out here getting ready to load a revision. Just want to see what kind of time this takes now that all the everything's been downloaded. So we're going to program vehicle. Of course, uh, it says we want to return stock or continue. We're going to continue. Hear the relay click. Again, you want to make sure all your cables are connected good. You don't want these battery cables disconnecting during the flash. So we're processing data. We're going to go to revision two. Processing data. Now, the biggest thing is we were disabling preloaded tunes, obviously. This one here is we don't need to download the stock file anymore. Uh, with the first flash, you had to download the stock file, which obviously takes uh, quite some time. Again, we've got our cable hooked up on the left side, power here, SCT device plugged into the box along with the power cable. And the beginning of the flash yesterday was super fast. Uh, it did slow down towards the uh, second half of the flash, probably around 70% started to slow down. So I'll be curious once uh, everything's processed, how long it actually takes for revisions. Because this obviously takes a little bit more time than just plugging into the OBD2 port. So hopefully some of that makes up with the actual flash time. Again, I know we all get nervous when it, you know, takes some time. It tells you to take some time, but everyone's like, oh, how come it's not doing anything? I know. Blank silence, okay? We're unlocking the processor. 
can hear the relays clicking and everything like that. It's opening everything up in the computers to do what it needs to do. So if you look at the actual flash compared to normal flash, at least the beginning, super fast. Because uh, we know it normally takes four to five minutes to flash the vehicle. Hmm. So we got to 86% today pretty fast. Oh, 95. 99. Download complete. So the actual flash time is very quick. So you're going to have a little bit more time involved with plugging and unplugging the PCM and hooking up the little battery cables. But overall, it's really not going to take you any more time to flash the vehicle with this process. Uh, again, after the first flash, stock files downloaded. You've seen that. I've never seen a computer flash that quick before. We've been doing this for 20 years, uh, 23 years, really. Uh, so super, super happy with that. So just wanted to let you guys come along for that. And again, you can see three minutes start to finish. Uh, and that was with unlocking, doing everything. I've been doing the video. We're right at three minutes. Uh, and, you know, a minute to plug everything in, if that. So super happy. Hey guys, just want to throw a little update on our F-150 project truck, our 2022. Had the tune on the truck for about three weeks. Everything's working really good. The guys at Jugger got, got it dialed in. Uh, shifting great. Speed limiter's gone. Uh, shifting higher RPM. Super excited. Can't wait to get the uh, converter in there from Suncoast. We're going to build the trans Vortec kit. Uh, big converter on it. Uh, Ford Innovations fuel system. It's going to be really awesome. Plenty of SCT devices in stock. Again, the guys at Juggernaut are tuning our personal F-150, uh, but we do also offer tunes through Ortiz, the guys at Five Star with the SCT devices as well. So if you need a device, you need a tune, hit us up. Uh, and then we also offer tuning through uh, Liver Noise as well for these trucks with their uh, My Calibrator. So anything you need for the 21 up F-150, really any F-150, any Mustang, Hemi Mopar, hit us up, beefcakeracing.com. <laughs>